Today is the day, I hope. I hope we're going to finish off the Silphico today. I have traveled back to the 11th floor and we are going to make our way down using the keycard. Bingo! Oh, she looks nice. And she moves, so she's not evil. <coughs> but we still have plenty of grunts to fight. But we have our Venusaur back, and he is just rearing the go. <coughs> oh. This is definitely the last episode I'm going to be able to record today. My throat is getting a little scratchy and my voice is getting tired. VSR starting out with a bang, not taking any damage. Where does this one go? Now all this is going to do is help get us even more lost. Oh, hey, yeah, we'll, we'll need that. If only that was a permanent status move. Come on, I ain't even afraid of you now. I was just a tad bit worried when I only had Pidgeot, but... Venusaur can take these uh, these guys out no problem. He is a no problem. Not a problem at all. You think it's a problem? It's not a problem. Excuse me, it's no problem. Although I will say that Venusaur, what what is your back sprite, man? Well, you just kind of look like a blob of random blue pixels. Like, I c You could show me that, and I would never believe it was Venusaur. Ever. I would be like, uh... I don't know. Like, I don't even know what else... What it could possibly look like. <laughs> Keep these guys coming. They're they're easy fodder. Critical hit, but it's not very effective. Got anything good over here? Got a rocket member. I'm pretty sure we already beat. Yeah, I think we're back down on the second floor now. Or the third floor. You know, one of those. All right, thanks. What does it do? Alright, well, we haven't been here yet. This must be the fourth floor. I kind of wish there were signs, like, right beside the stairways that told you what floor you were on. That, that would be very nice.
No, we don't want to switch out. And I hate to change that to, to fixed instead of switch. Because there will be times where I'll want to switch out and I'll... I won't remember to change it back later. It got a tickle on my nose. So long, Raticate. You're being eradicated. Ha 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 ha. Funny joke! Are these the beds that I can use? Bed? 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 No, no. Where does this go? I don't like it. Wait, are you serious? Stupidest teleportation pad in the game right there. I, we don't want any part of that right now. Because we want to get all the experience we can before taking on our rival battle. Plus, once we beat him and uh, take out the Team Rocket leader, all these, all these battles will disappear and we'll lose all that very valuable experience. <clears throat> we certainly don't want to lose experience. We need all that we could get. G.I. Pokemon! Bing, bing, bing! No, don't sludge me, bro! Don't sludge me! That is actually pretty harsh. We're not taking any chances. We're razor leafing you again. Yeah, I want Venusaur to be like level 80 when we take on the Elite Four. but I'd like to see Venusaur be level 80 before we take on the Elite Four. BEFORE we take on the Elite Four. Which would mean that it would be like level 85 when we take on the champion battle. No, we don't really... We don't need growth. At this point, I just want to replace Tackle with Solar Beam. And then I'll probably use all the PP ups on the Solar Beam. Because I think they only give you five. And I think I'll have enough PP ups to jump it up to ten. Which, it's not su Oh, you're the one that heals me! It's over here. Okay, nothing. Well, nothing that we can see. I knew there was a place in here! Oh, right, that is so good.
Oh, we already beat you. All right. Let's just go down here and see what we can find. Does it really need to say bingo? The card key was used every single time. All right. All right, here, here's what we're going to do. Let's take the elevator back to the top floor, and let's just work our way down, clearing the floors. No teleportation pads. We're just using doors. All right, so there's not a door up here at all. This area is clear. This area is clear. Let's go down a floor. Alright, this is where we just came from. You're the lady that heals us. Cool. Let's go down a floor. Alright, we fought you. Nothing this way. That's clear. Alright. Oh, here's one we haven't opened. I feel like we already talked to him. We must have came in through that teleportation pad. Alright. Let's go down a floor. We actually should have already cleared most of this stuff out already. Alright, we haven't cleared this. I think we've actually fought that guy already through teleportation pad. Oh, no, we did not. See, that's why we gotta be systematic. Not problematic. Well, I guess the Team Rocket, we are being problematic by being systematic. Oh, boggles the mind. Making good time, too. We'll go revisit that lady, heal up, do our rival battle, take out the, the boss, and... We get a super special prize for helping out the self-co, too. That's one that will definitely be going in the PC until the very... until the post-game. I don't even want to touch the teleportation pad, because they send us to weird places. You know, you people could give me stuff. I'm not coming here to save you or talk to you just for my help. Well, he just told you what the super secret prize was. It's the Master Ball. The Master Ball has a 100% catch rate. Well, actually, that's not entirely true. It is possible to not catch a Pokemon with the Master Ball. I don't remember exactly what has to be in place to cause it to miss. Or if it's just completely random, but... In the game, they imply that it has a 100% catch rate. But, now I've never had it fail, but according to uh, some speedruns that I've watched, the runners have said that there have been occasions where it did fail to work. I do know you can't use it to catch another trainer's Pokemon, but that's not what they were talking about. Hand 
hands is getting sweaty. It needs to hurry up and cool off, because it's already October, and extra life's in about a month. Now, I'm not going to be able to play for 24 hours with sweaty hands. That's not going to work. And I'm going to do my best to make it the whole 24 hours this time. Th things will be planned out better. Um, last year, we got a late start and stuff wasn't even set up. Stuff was still being set up as we started streaming. Like, I had external monitors everywhere that needed to be wired into play, and stuff just did not go ultimately as planned. I think we ended up starting like an hour late too, which you know puts you behind the eight ball because then you gotta stream for an hour longer to make the full 24 hours. But like, we didn't start streaming until like I think it was like 11 or 10. I'd been up since like 5 a.m., so I'd already been up for five hours. Why did I take that teleportation pad? I'd already been up for like 20. I was already awake for like five hours before we even started the stream. So, if you want to get super technical, we ended at right around 6.30 a.m., 7 a.m. the following day. So, I had been awake for 24 hours. <laughs> we just weren't streaming for the whole 24 hours. But that, that's not going to happen this year, you know. I've... It's just going to be me for the most part. There might be a special guest here and there. But it's basically just going to be me in, in this room. Everything is already set up. All the remote stuff is already done, so... And this, this year... The, uh... The, like, timeouts in between games. Gonna be a little bit longer to, you know, allow for, you know, eating and stuff like that. Proper eating. Because <coughs> that was kind of another problem, is... We did not think that one through very well, and there was a lot of... I don't want to say junk food, but it wasn't the best food for trying to stay awake with. All right, we're back on the ground floor. Now we got to figure out how to get back to our rival. But first, let's go heal. I think she was on the ninth floor. Doo -doo. You have arrived on the ninth floor. Thanks. Alright, now we gotta go through confusing teleportation paths to find our way to our rival. Now there's a rocket member blocking my way that way. Not this one. <clears throat> nothing? There's really nothing in that room? That seems kind of strange.
We know where this one goes. All right, we found him. What kept you, Xy? Or you see, I had to, uh... <laughs> I thought you'd turn up if I waited here. I guess Team Rocket slowed you down. Not that I care. I saw you in Saffron, so I decided to see if you got better. <coughs> oh, you have a Pidgeot, too? Be strong against me, so you know what? I'm gonna let Butterfree take the hit. Cause I didn't want Pidget to have automatic damage. That's a strategy right there. Oh come on! <laughs> yeah, sand in your eyes. No! Don't do it to me! <laughs> yeah! Thought I could have taken him out. D dang sand attack. Oh! Alright. Send out your Charmeleon or... I don't think it's a Charizard yet. Hey, you can send that out too. Because it's a grass type. Oh, but the freaking sand attack! Oh! Come on! No! Just lost all my speed. And the freaking sand attack is... Come on! See, this is where only having two mains will bite you in the ass. Because all of his stuff is high level. And if Pidgeot goes, I only have Venusaur left, and I I do not see Venusaur being able to handle Charmeleon or Charizard at all. One freaking sand attack is just destroying me right now. I don't think I have a paralyzed heal. Alright, Gyarados. We're, we're, we're gonna throw the Venusaur back out there. And hope it doesn't have a flying type move. Nice. <clears throat> Dragon Rage. I can deal with that. It's 40 damage, but it's only 40 damage. I think we might throw Bellsprout out here in a minute, let it take the hit while I use a potion on Pidgeot.
Nice. What? Why is it all of a sudden faster than me? That doesn't make any sense. For real, that does not make any sense. faith in Pidgeot here. A lot of faith. We can hit every wing attack. I think we can outlast his rage. Come on! I mean, the only good thing about that is that his attack didn't rise because we didn't hit him back, but... Yes! We beat him! Just getting a little worried there for a second. I thought I was going to have to throw out another super potion. Because eventually, I think Rage dies out and he gets confused and all that. Alright, we need to go find our girl and get healed up <clears throat> real quick. Wish it would tell us what floor we were on. We need to heal right quick before we take on the Team Rocket boss. <clears throat> oh, that, that was, I was slightly stressed out over that last battle. But alright. Let's just take the stairs down. This is not it. Is this it? Yes. No, that was not it, but I think it brought us to where we need to be. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. What's up? know that well Lapras is my water type now level 15 way better than it being level 5 oh come on of course there would be one more guard
Oh, Cubo, come out to play, yay! Go home, Cubo. You can't play with me anymore. This episode's running long, but I don't care. We are beating the Rocket Boss in this episode. Did the light just blink? Or was that just me? Might have just been me. Well, obviously, I came all this way. Oh, yeah, a uh, slight, I guess, reverse spoiler. We, we beat this guy in the Team Rocket hideout under the game corner as well, so... <clears throat> oh, he's added a Nidorino to the team. He didn't have this last time. Last time he had an Onyx, a Rhyhorn, and... I don't remember what else. You use your guard special, it's not gonna help him. Told you so. What else did he have? Oh, he had a Kangaskhan last time, too. There it is. Kangaskhan. And last time, Venusaur took everything out with one-hit kills with Razor Leaf, so... I'm not super worried about this battle. Yeah, it looks like Nidorino was the only real threat he had, and even that didn't do anything. Oh, he has a Nido Queen now. What happened to your Onyx? It's not gonna help. Oh, well. Dang. Just like every 20th move, Venusaur misses, so. We, we gotta fix your accuracy, but I don't think there is a way to permanently fix accuracy in this game. But either way, Giovanni not a threat. So long! Yeah, thanks for saving us, blah blah blah, moment of peril, blah blah blah. Because I'm rich, I got anything, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I have no freaking room. What can I throw away right quick? Because I'm not, I'm not navigating back through here. Uh, well, we're already going to use the HP up on Venusaur later on anyway. Might as well just go ahead and do it now. It's a master ball. What do you say? Thanks for rescuing all of us. We admire your courage. Well, you're welcome. And if you admire this video, make sure you hit that like button. Or if you're new, hit that subscribe button. Because there's a lot of new stuff coming down the line. Plus, you know, extra life's right around the corner. Maybe... You want to be around for that? I don't know. I'd want to be. I mean, it's 24 hours of streaming. And maybe, you know, some 
technically can't call them giveaways, but they're giveaways. Maybe. I don't know. They're kind of getting a little stricter on that rule, so there might not be. But, you can always still donate money. Links for that, as well as the links to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and my merch shop are all in the description below. And, as always, thanks for watching, and let's...